and today we're going to have a look at some Polish NBC suits from Communist Poland. Now I believe these are the L1 and L2 suits, but I'm not sure which one's which. And of course when you use Google Image to search for things, the same suits keep turning up under the names L1 and L2. One of them looks slightly green, one of them looks slightly grey. Uh, these are very kindly sent for me, to me for free from B Store, um, where I've um, he's, I bought an MP5 from him, the Polish MP5, and he's a bit of a fan of my videos, so he sent me some more stuff, which is really nice of him. I'll put a link in the uh, description if you want to see his store, if you want to get these suits. So I'm hoping once I open these suits, I might be able to fold them back away to fit into these carrier bags, because if you know anything about NBC suits, it's that they can be really, really, really awkward to actually fold back down. Pretty much any NBC suit I've bought that's meant to fit in a carrier, with the exception of my West German suit, um, all of them I've never been able to get back into their actual, you know, things. The British ones just come in um, vacuum sealed bags, so they're obviously not designed to go back into those. But you know, with a lot of the suits, that they actually have a carrier, a bit like these. And then by the time you've unfolded all the suit, uh, when you try and fold it back up, it's not going to go in anything this small again. You have to find like a cardboard box and just put it in those. So anyway, I don't really know which one to start with. Um, now that says two on it, and I have no idea if that's anything to do with the suit itself, or if it's a size. Oh, this one says two as well. Okay, that's not helpful. Uh, let's start with this green bag anyway. Um, sort of green, brown, olive bag. So, the buttons have a Polish eagle on, but I'm not sure if that's the communist one. Okay, so in the bag, it's tied up at the top to keep the suit in. And the suit is absolutely coated in talc, I can see, like they normally are. So anyway, let's pull the bag to the side, uh, get this out. I think that's everything out of the bag. Right, so that's the suit. Uh, you can see it's got boots built onto this suit, which is nice. And there it goes. Okay, so, reminds me a bit of the East German suit, but it's nowhere near as thick, so it looks a lot more comfortable. Um, it's got some sort of foam stuff around there, I guess, to make it a bit more comfortable when you've got it on. I'm not going to suit up with a mask and everything in these videos, I'm just going to try and put the suits on. So this is one where obviously the legs are, um, you know, like one part of it, which I kind of like, because it means they act like waders. Uh, so let's get my foot in there. Get the other foot in. I'm sure somebody in the comments will know which suit is which when um, I've done the video. So that goes out. This is a lot like these German suit, it's just a lot more lighter. But again, maybe there was a Soviet suit originally that these are all based on. Okay, so what you do is you put your hands through there like that into the bits there. Then we tuck all this inside. Um, this is a bit confusing how this all goes together. But I'm assuming that the buttons somehow will go through each other. But the buttons here are on this bit, so I'm assuming I button up the insides first, then I can button up the outside. So, sorry this is out of frame for this bit, but basically there's these buttons that run all the way up the suit. Um, they're kind of like spikes, and I guess you push the spike through each of the layers. Like most NBC suits, it's a lot easier said than done. Um, come on, go in. Right, that's one done up, okay. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. What I'm going to do now is I'll stop the camera, I'll get all this done up because it's probably going to take me ages and I don't want to waste the camera battery. And then we'll go back to it when I've got the full suit on. Okay, I guess this is pretty much how it's meant to go on. Obviously, you'd normally tie this around here. I'm not quite sure how that top flap works where it's got a load of buttonholes there because I don't think you're meant to, you know, button it on like that. But from what I'd understand, you'd have your mask on. You'd wrap this around somewhere like the East German suit and you'd find a little popper that it connects to, probably that one. Um, again, these aren't the easiest things to put on because it seems nobody's ever come up with a good design 
I suppose modern suits often have Velcro on, but yeah. So anyway, what you do is you put that around there without strangling yourself. And that's why it's obviously got the foam bit here. It's like the SR1 mask where the foam's meant to go against your neck to cushion. Uh, you probably have your, you know, helmet style hood mask on or your MP4 mask. Um, and then that would, this hood would obviously make a proper seal. Okay, so if I pan the camera down so you can look at this suit. Um, the button system on this suit is really weird that you can maybe hopefully see here. Um, how it works is you have lots of different layers and then at least they come off easier than they go on but what you do is each of the layers you kind of just push it through a spike kind of button and until you've basically pulled all the bits out. Now it's an interesting design, it's at least fast to take off, but, you know, it's, again, not the most practical and fast thing to put on. I think with NBC suits you kind of have two theories. You have the lightweight ones, which is quick, put the suit on so you don't die, which is good. Oh, elasticated cuffs, that is a big plus. I like elasticated cuffs on an NBC suit. Um, so yeah, that's a big plus that you've got that. Um, again, there's some Polish in here that I can't read um, on the rubber but yeah good luck seeing what all that says um something to blah 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 uh this one was made in 1973 um but yeah the issue of a lot of these suits is you have two theories kind of a suit you have a fast to put on suit which means soldiers are at least going to survive because they can get the suit on quickly and then you have the heavier nbc suits that are put on at a base uh, somewhere you know, you walk out in the suit when you're all suited up to go do whatever you're going to do with the suits on, then you return to base, get decontaminated, de de and, you know, uh, the suit's taken off. So, the bigger suits are generally designed so, you know, they're put on well in advance. You're not meant to scramble to put them on the chemical attack, so maybe this is a suit like that. But they give very good protection, you know, when you actually are all suited up. The issue is you can't put them on quickly. Now let's look at the other suit and see how that compares to this one. And what we have here is the typical thing where I try to get the suit back in and it doesn't go in. Um, this has come off something, I don't know what this has come off of, I guess part of one of the legs. It looks like it just buttons on so I don't think it's snapped at all. At least I hope it hasn't snapped off, but regardless, there's another bit of commie suit. So yeah, a suit like that might be handy if you're suiting up ahead of time, but you're never going to get a suit like that on in time in a nerve gas attack. Right, let's look at the other suit from Communist Poland. And I don't know which one this is. Is this the L1 or is it the L2? I'm hoping it's going to be a bit easier to put on, in all honesty. And it's hard to get out. <laughs> right. One popper off. Right, okay, now let's look at this greyer looking suit. So, pull it all out of the bag. Ah, I think this is a two part one, so I assume this is the second gen suit. Because normally, if you have one that's a two part NBC suit, they're the more modernised ones. So, Again, I think there might be something loose in here. Ah, there's another one of these. So, yeah, I guess that hadn't snapped off, snapped off of anything. It's just like a belt or something that's put in loose in the bags. Right, okay. So... Here is our waders kind of thing. Now, this suit was made in 1984, so I'm guessing that this is the L2 suit, uh, through speculation. Anyway, what is the front way round? That's going to be the back, okay. This is going to be the front. So step into this.
Okay, so now I need to figure out how I'm meant to be doing these straps up. So there's going to be buckles somewhere. Here they are. Right, so I guess I thread these through the buckles, which always are off frame because my camera's view angle isn't wide enough, which is frustrating. Um, okay. I'm not going to put this on super properly like the other one, I'm not going to do all the straps up super tight because I'm not actually suiting up for a chemical warfare event I am just simply um, you know, trying to demonstrate these suits maybe a bit on camera so get this other bit through right there we go so now I've got my comedic clown wader legs on Again, if you wanted a cheap pair of waders, it's probably cheaper to buy one of these than actually buying um, a proper set of waders. They should work fairly well for it. Um, what's really uncomfortable with these is my right foot's fine, but I think it's because it's like where it's been stored so long. The left foot is kind of caving in on itself and crushing my foot. I know you'd sometimes have boots on under these, but they'd be even more of a nightmare to get on. Okay, um, I guess I stretch this at the bottom. Then put it over my head. I don't like the fact there's spikes on the inside of this again. Who thinks they're a good idea? I really don't know. Okay. Right, okay, that's the spit off. And there's the hood on this one, so you would simply, I guess, pull this round to this bit once you had your mask on, and then this would go into this, I guess. And then when you have your chemical hood on, this is semi elasticated, this would work quite well. Right, let's pe pin, uh, pe pen the camera down and look at this suit, which I've not done up properly, but... Right, there we go. This is definitely better, this suit. Uh, what I really like about this one, actually, is the elasticated top section. The legs, I'm like, mm, you know, I don't really care about the leg section, but the top section... Yeah, this is good. You see, what I might actually do, might sound a bit weird, but because I like this top section... Pull it back off. I'll take my hands out of there before I become trapped in the suit. What I'd probably do is this top section, I reckon, uh, I've got the chemical gloves, he sent me those as well if I wanted to use the chemical gloves that came with this suit, but I'd probably use my public order gloves because they're of um, you know, better quality, but what I personally reckon I would do is use this top half of this suit actually with my waders, like my proper waders, and I reckon that combined with the waders would be a really good top half of an NBC suit. Because what I like with that one is, as I said, it's elasticated. So a lot of the parts pull tight on their own. You know, you just kind of have to squeeze through them in and out, but you don't at least have to keep trying to do up like 10 different straps to put the suits on. Uh, so what do I think of these Polish suits? Uh, they remind me a lot of these German suits, to be honest. Um, the only difference is these are thinner material, um, but they're a lot more comfortable because of that. You're not going to get so stupidly over hot in these, because basically the entire suit is kind of just like that. Um, it's this kind of vinyl-y, rubberized, you know, fabric or something. Whereas the East German NBC suit is kind of the same idea, but when they put the rubber on it, they decided to, you know, put so much rubber on it. So if you wanted a suit for a really heavily contaminated environment, the East German suit's definitely going to be better, there's no doubt about that. But if you wanted a suit, you know, as a casual civilian, like most of us are, you'd hope to never want something like this. Something like these would be a lot better. The V2 suit, and I'm pretty convinced, the one with the later date, and, you know, the L2 suit, the one with the later date, um, 
and it's in two parts, I'm pretty sure, is the L2 suit. That I quite like. I do like the one-piece suits just because everything's included in the suit, but what I like about the, you know, like the second gen of suit, obviously, is that, as I said, it's elasticated. So if you wanted one, you know, it's elasticated, as I said, it's a lot easier to put on. It's still not easy to put on, it's an NVC suit, but yeah. So I reckon what I might do is keep the top half of that suit separately and combine it with my fishing waders and then that will be my actual go-to chemical gear because the top half I think would be really good I'd probably not use the Polish gloves that I didn't show in this video I'll grab them in a second to show but um, I reckon yeah top half combined with my fishing waders would be like an all-round really good NBC gear sort of combination okay let's look at the gloves that would come with either suit I've already keep on sneeze because I've inhaled talcum powder interesting thing with these look is that there's actually like a fabric glove inside the uh, rubber glove okay so maybe that makes it more comfortable Can't seem to get my thumb to go into the uh, thumb hole on this one. I think it's probably because it's almost inside out the uh, thing. There we go. Okay, so I guess you don't slip as much by having your hands in the fabric y stuff. It'll keep you a bit warmer in the winter as well. You can see loads of talc. Oh, I don't really want to be doing that. I'm going to be inhaling the talc. Um, there's buttons on this, so I assume when you've got the full suit on, you can maybe button them to the thing there. Again, these gloves, um, they wouldn't be my first choice to wear because I've got the West German or Modern German NBC gloves that are good. My um, protection gloves, the uh, civil protection gloves, what do they call them? Public order gloves, that's it. They're meant to be like acid resistant and everything like that. So I'm sure in an actual chemical thing with my NBC suit, I'd actually probably want my um, public order gloves on just because they're like big gauntlets, but they're, you know, like reinforced ones. Oh, shouldn't have done that talc everywhere. Um, but yeah. No, the Polish gloves seem alright. Um, can't really find anything to complain about them again. This is very simple mass produced kind of communist stuff. Um, so yeah, to sum up those Polish NBC suits, um, personally the L1 suit to me is like almost the same thing as the L, um, like the Mark 1 East German suit, whatever it's called. Um, just more lightweight and comfortable to wear, but obviously then you sacrifice heavy protection use from it, but it would still be pretty competent. Um, the L2 is actually quite nice. Um, again, the wader part of it, sorry, it's just, well, that dust's got up my nose. The wader part of it, you know, like the bottom part, isn't really amazing. It's okay, I guess. But I do like the top half, um, because the top half I am now going to combine with my improvised NBC suit to have, like, a real top half NBC suit, the bottom half, you know, nice quality fishing waders. And then, yeah, I've got a pretty good NBC suit made from mixing and matching parts. But there you go, the Polish suits, um, as I said, like with any NBC suit, good luck getting it back in the bag it was meant to come in. This one seems alright, but that's just because the top half I've put in a separate place in my fishing waders, but this is like this. So what I'm going to have to do now is chuck these in the bottom of a wardrobe, I think, to uh, keep them out of the way, because these are obviously going to take up a lot of way. Chemical gloves can go with them, really. Um, but yeah. So big thanks to B-Store for sending me these. There will be a link in the description to his eBay page. Um, and yeah, the Polish communist suits, to me, are quite similar to the East German ones, but they're a bit lighter weight, so they'd be more comfortable to wear for certain. Not as bad on a hot day, but again, you know, modern NBC suits are clearly a lot better than these, but if you actually wanted a suit for protection, these would still do the job, because, you know, they're like bits of rubber. Um, you know, they're not going to really go off, but, um, you know, they'd be good, I guess, if you're painting and stuff like that, maybe, uh, or really, really wet weather. Uh, keep you very dry, but yeah, they're, they're not very easy to put on quickly in the event of a nuclear attack or anything like that, chemical attack. Yeah.